welcome you all once again to marine mechanic videos and the topic for the day is a simple reciprocating pump the reason why I have drawn the diagram over here is just to show you a simple examination sketch there are much better diagrams available when you google reciprocating pumps so here is the simple examination sketch of a bilge type reciprocating pump on board a ship especially you can find this kind of pump and uh, this is a cross-sectional view of it so a uh, simple description about it a moment this is nothing just a gear wheel so I'm just raising it off for better clarity alright so here is the prime mover which is the electric motor which has a pinion or a small gear and then it's driving a bigger gear so that there is a speed reduction considerably sometimes they may be coupled to a pulley with belts that's also possible so this is one kind of mechanism which is having a gear drive and uh, here is something like a crankshaft if you have one or two more units of piston so in the cross section I have shown only one piston but you might have a crankshaft if you have two or three more piston units so here is the connecting rod I'll write it as short as con rod and here is the cross set guide alright so and here is the cross set and the piston rod some pumps this arrangement will have a cylinder lubricator attached to it which will lubricate these two guides and the shoes and sometimes the bearings on the crankshaft that is also possible and the normal lube oil what we use is the cylinder lube oil what we uh, used to put it in and on the piston rod we have gland packing which is usually three or four packings arranged in series and then we have the piston which has two or three rings and the piston ring material is ebonite usually which is a soft rubber like material and it's easily replaceable once again I say the material is ebonite and the piston moves to and fro inside this and on board ships you can find this pump in this manner where the piston moves top and bottom something like this or even sometimes like this so it depends upon the manufacturer completely so here is the suction valve and the suction piping which has valve chest maybe one valve from the bilge holding tank one valve from the sea chest or the main seawater line and other valve from the bilge wells and here is the delivery or discharge discharge valve and one main failing point what the, what the examiners look for is the springs over here none of the google pictures will show this because uh, I don't know for some reason they are not showing this but on board ship on the valve chest upon the suction valve and delivery valve you will definitely have springs for positive closing of the valves so this is one of the failing mistakes what the surveyor expects if he asks you to draw a reciprocating bilge pump in front of him and on the discharge side I have drawn it upside down because the boat size is not enough so this is the accumulator or air vessel accumulator or you can call it simply as air vessel there are two or three types which usually uh, accumulator may be one is spring loaded and other is compressed air and other is gas charged so two or three types possible what I've drawn over here is spring loaded which has adjustable nut so that you can adjust um, the pulsations accordingly on the delivery line now when the piston moves towards this way let me call it as top dead center and bottom dead center assuming this diagram in this position so if the piston moves towards the top dead center against the spring force the suction valve lifts so that the water comes in due to the vacuum it is this vacuum which is created in this chamber enables the suction valve to lift against the spring force during the suction stroke when the piston moves towards the TDC 
what happens to the de delivery wall over here is the suction effect is also on it and the spring keeps the delivery valve closed positively so that's the purpose of the spring and during the piston travel from TDC to BDC towards this direction the spring and the discharge pressure of the water closes the suction valve positively and then it lifts the delivery valve over here against the spring pressure and then it goes to the bell's holding tank or the oily water separator depending upon the pipeline. The main operating problem what you will encounter in this type of the bilge pump is if you don't lubricate it properly, uh, properly number one it will get overheated and you will not find it until and unless the bearing completely wears out. And other possible reason is the piston rings getting broken out or it's worn completely on the liner and of course there will be some sort of minimal leakage through the packings or the gland packings on the piston rod and if say some kind of debris is stuck when the suction valve is open and it doesn't close completely then there are great chances that the bilge pump will not take suction so after cleaning the filters the suction strainers on each bilge will what you have to do is Still, if the bilge pump is not taking suction, you got to remove the valve chest and take out the valve and then clear the debris, put it back, put the springs, assemble it, then the bilge pump will start taking suction. The same thing can happen to the delivery valve also, which will result in short cycling of the bilge water. And the purpose of the accumulator or the air vessel is to reduce the pulsations. Let's say we have two piston units and the water will be throwing out like a jet two jets continuously depending upon the speed of the motor. To reduce the pulsations the air vessel is cut so that the water comes in compresses the spring based on the discharge pressure and as the discharge pressure goes down the spring in, in turn exerts a force so that the water goes out. So there's continuous throw of water without any pulsations. That's the main purpose of the accumulator. So uh, that's it about the simple reciprocating pump. I'll show a small animation which is uh, taken out from some website, I don't know, I can't remember it, but I've not made the animation, the complete credit goes to the website who designed the animation. Let's watch the animation now. So as we discussed earlier, here is the simple animation for the reciprocating type of bilge pump. And as you can see, the suction valve and the delivery valve lifts based on the piston movement from TDC to BDC and the piston rod is driven by the connecting rod cross it and to the crankshaft via the electric motor which drives through a gear or the pulley mechanism and in this animation there is no spring shown on the delivery and suction valve which I explained earlier and there is no air vessel also provided over here so let's pass, pass on to the next animation on the simple reciprocating bilge pump. Okay, so that's the steam operated reciprocating bilge pump which you can find it on olden day steam ships. So here is the steam chest where the steam pilot valve controls the inlet and outlet of steam on top of the piston and bottom. So this is a double acting steam piston and here is the crossed mechanism which drives or drives the pilot valve over here and thus the steam is diverted on top and bottom alternatively. Now when you look at the valve chest over here so this is the arrow points the suction valve chest and the piston when it moves to BDC to TDC one of the suction valve lifts and then the water from the suction valve chest comes out like this fills the chamber and then as the piston moves from TDC to BDC it lifts the discharge valve and goes to the discharge chamber here. So since there are two suction valves and two discharge valves with one piston connected to a common chamber this is this will give more output or throughput than the normal one which has single piston single valve on suction and delivery. So this is a typical animation of a simple reciprocating pump which is of steam operate type.